All right. Um, next example. So again, our parent function in this case, uh, let me just write. Parent function in this case is e to the x. If you want to apply transformations, now notice we have a b here, right? So I'm going to write this with the b. So this would be b um, times x minus c. I kind of wrote that wrong originally on your guys' notes, so I apologize for that. Not, we're not I wrote the c divided by b for a reason to kind of show you how to get there. But technically, you're, this is really just the process, or this is really just that equation. So if you want to update um, your notes on that. So anyways, do I have an a? Do I have an a in this equation? No, so I don't need to worry about that. Do I have a b? Do I have something that's multiplied by that? Yeah. Yes. So we could say, OK, that's a horizontal compression of 2. Now, the minus 3, is that inside the function or considered outside the function? Outside, outside right? If it was inside, it would be inside the parentheses. So we can say this is going to be shifting down 2. And now we just need to, oh, what the heck? This is x cubed. Huh? Down three. Anyways, the parent function is x cubed, right? So if we look at our parent function graphs, we say, well, what does x cubed look like? Well, that is kind of famously known as our s graph, right? And the s graph, you guys can see, this is kind of nice. Domain is all real numbers. Range is all real numbers. So guys, does it really matter what our transformations are going to do? No. So the domain, I don't need, like, I can transform. That's all right. All right, down three. Cool, the graph got you. Now, horizontal compression of 2, so maybe it'll be like we're compressing it a little bit. But guys, the domain and range don't change. Negative infinity to infinity, range. Negative infinity to infinity. OK, and again, guys.